Kim Robinson and I'm the Chief Exec of Somerset Local Food. Uh, my name is Keely Dolphin and I'm the Finance and Commercial Director at The Break in Wigan. David Lane, I am a non-executive executive Financial Director at Chalmers Fish and Chips. Mm-hmm. I'm Birgit Kira and I'm the Founder and Director um, of Change Kitchen CIC. Hi, I'm Helen Innes. I'm a project coordinator at Hubbub Foundation. My name is Rosie Begg and I am company secretary of Grasson Hall Community Enterprise. So my name is Paul Myers and I'm the MD of Farm Urban. I'm Sally Ann Watkiss. I'm the chair of the cooperative um, and I was previously the treasurer um, of, of the bakery. Hi, my name's Jenny Heinsen. I am the Chief Operating Officer for Urban Biodiversity CIC. My name's Caroline Bennett. Um, I am a Director of Soul of Discretion Community Interest Company. Uh, yeah, my name's Richard Robinson. I'm the uh, Founder and CEO of Old Spike Lodge. People don't a bit scared of, of um, like investment, aren't they, in charities? And they shouldn't be, because I've worked in um, in the corporate world for years and it's only the last three years I've been in this sector and no and charity shouldn't be scared of it because at the end of the day that what if you want an asset like what we you know we did we've got that asset for 15 years so you would never pay for it up front you would always do it over 15 years so it's um it just makes absolute sense and I don't think anyone should be scared of doing it because you're not you know working with somebody like Alan and um and Kevin they're just they just hold your hand all the way through and it is fantastic. It's just opened so many doors for us and it's given us the confidence now to think about our next steps. Use that social investment to purchase, install and commission uh, our vertical farm in Liverpool. So yeah, so this social investment we got from Live Housing um, has allowed us to, to kind of take that step up. So moving from a small um, social enterprise that had trialled lots of different vertical farming systems, we were actually able to buy one and, and operate now at a commercial scale. We took, I think it was £50,000 worth of social investment, um, which was alongside our share offer. And that was from, uh, that was from Key Fund. The, it sort of, yeah, I mean, it ultimately helped us finance the acquisition and refurbishment of our community asset and, yeah, gave us a real boost to complement the share offer. Investment has used, been used predominantly for completing our amazing new community building, which is called Co Gwenan, which is Cornish for Beehive. And that has helped us work with multiple other businesses on the site. Uh, so within that building, we have a community cafe. We also have a co-work space. We've also created an amazing uh, events space where we have lots of creative organisations can now come and work with us. Without that social investment and that loan and grant from First Arc, we would never have been able to take that high production unit. Taking that unit has enabled us to grow our production from about a thousand pies a week to a capability for 3,000 pies a week enabled us for, to grow to grow as a business both in terms of pie production and to free up the bakery space to grow our buffets, our social um, social impact type stuff and enabled us to employ more people. Our brand new project faced huge challenges when the pandemic hit and thanks to a venturesome loan we were able to respond quickly to the changing circumstances and demands of our local community. We launched a food delivery service for the duration of the first lockdown and then adapted and relaunched the professional redistribution service later in the year once lockdown was lifted. In our first year we diverted 240 tonnes of food from waste to people's homes. We did this with zero impact by operating a fully electric fleet of vehicles that includes an e-van and three electric cargo bikes, saving 600 tonnes of carbon associated with food production and eight tonnes of transport GHDs. The project has generated six green jobs and helped six community organisations to refocus their efforts on the needs of their local community rather than thousands of volunteer hours collecting food. Social investment um, fairly early on, and when we, when our initial big grant ran out, and we weren't quite standing on our own feet, 
um, we got a grant, I uh, got a loan um, from Art, um, Aston Reinvestment Trust. I think they might have remained themselves now, but that's what they're called then. And um, we got a, a grant, a loan literally to keep going. We knew that there was bookings coming in and we knew we're, we're not far off from making money, but we weren't quite ready yet. And so we needed to cover that initial phase. Um, and yeah, for, for salaries and um, you know, just sort of literally full cost. Um, and there wasn't anyone else who would have given us a loan at that point because we were still quite young social enterprise and you know um didn't have that much under 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 our belt but we we could show that we already doing a good job and we had good social impact so we got it thankfully that's why we're still here <laughs> i think when you're quite an early stage startup it you know talking about fifty thousand hundred thousand two hundred thousand pounds you know whatever amount of money it may be it does seem scary um i think when, when you after a while actually realize without it you, you, know, you, you aren't able to grow and uh, do the impact that you want to do um, without that finance it's a really important part so i guess not to be too scared of risk uh, be confident in your your business and your idea uh, and realize that without finance you know impacts is going to be much harder to achieve um, because you can't reach the scale you need to, to, to maximize that impact so we took, I think it was £50,000 worth of social investment, um, which was alongside our share offer. And that was from, uh, that was from Key Fund. The, it sort of, yeah, I mean, it ultimately helped us finance the acquisition and refurbishment of our community asset. And yeah, gave us a real boost to complement the share offer. My top tip would be um, to, to be really clear on your offer to the two um, investors and to make it something that they really feel that they can be part of or own part of. So I think um, whilst whilst every business wants kind of working capital and general funds, actually, if, you, if you've got a shopping list of specific things you want, like, you know, we wanted a van, we wanted scales we wanted you know specific things people would sort of feel that perhaps they were buying a set of scales for us or a wheel on the a wheel on a van um i, I think that, that i think that would be my main my main thing because i think that was the feedback we got from customers is that they actually feel that they own something tangible in the business They've just been great. I mean, to the point where we were, they kindly invited me to a Christmas party in the Guildhall in London. And I was like really excited to be going to this beautiful venue and getting out of my fishy trainers and all the rest of it. And it was all canceled because of COVID. Um, but yeah, it, I was really looking forward to seeing them. You know, we've got a lot in common. It's great to hear all the other investments that they've made. Um, and they're just such an enlightened small group of people. Um, and they're so responsive. So we got an answer from them when we met, made the initial request for the funding within six weeks of the first request for funding. And they've been that responsive ever since. Um, and just very proactive. And yeah, they're just, it's just good. It's, you see a call from them and you, you know, your heart lights up. It's great. They're, they're, they're on the other end of the line. It's relatively early days, but um, yeah, the relationship seems good and I'm sure They'll be there to support us when we need to. It has been fantastic from day one. I just basically picked up the phone one day, um, called Big Issue Invest. Uh, they've just been so supportive the whole the way through. And we've not met them face to face yet, but I can't wait to do that because I know they want to come to the brick and see what we do. And I just think it, this is going to be a long term relationship now for us. Uh, you know, I think it's. Um, it's really great. They're really interested in what we do. They're not just interested in our like affordability of the loan. They're, they're really passionate about actually the social impact that we're making 